What do you think of the conditions out here, Molly? Um, they were a lot calmer than I, what I was expecting. You thought it was going to be a little bumpier ride? Mm -hmm. Windier? Yeah. Maybe even hurricane force winds? <laughs> not hurricane force winds. No? Just... It's pretty nice out here though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. There's not even white caps on the waves. Nope. I like that. Very little swell. Yeah. How hard do you think the wind is blowing? Fifty what? No, forty knots. Forty maybe. knots? Maybe along huh. forty, thirty. Yeah. Maybe ten even? Maybe. Ten, twelve, somewhere in there? <laughs> somewhere in there. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Pretty nice, pretty nice. You've probably heard me brag on it before already, but that CPT autopilot is an incredible piece of gear, let me tell you. Tambi has found a new favorite spot on the boat. She takes one of our sporta seats up there, props it up against the mast, and just hangs out. Looks around. She must be contemplating something very deep, maybe. I don't know. No idea what's going on up there, but she seems very content. What are you writing about in that little book? I'm writing about you guys in the Bahamas. About me? You and Mommy in the Bahamas with me. Oh, okay. Is it, uh, is it a good story? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Is there a hero in the story? <laughs> no. I think there should be. There might be. Huh? There might be. Yeah. Uh, I think the hero should be me. I'm just going to come out and say it. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Okay, well, just consider it, okay? Okay. So, on the horizon up there, right in that area, we can just see the buildings uh, on Paradise Island. What's the name of that hotel, honey? Uh. The name of the hotel is Uh. But we are about halfway, I guess, now. Oh, Atlantis. Tammy says Atlantis. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, sailing along, close hauled, full sail. Uh, doing about five knots, I guess, and 10 or 12 knots of breeze, I suppose. Just hanging out, enjoying the ride. Everything going good, Molly? Yep. Yeah, anything you want to say? No, not right now? No, not right now. Okay. I'm glad to be uh, sailing. Yeah, me too. Yep. Is that a peanut butter tortilla? Yep. You putting jelly on there? Yeah. Yeah? Molly, do you have jelly on yours? Yep. Tortilla! Oh yeah. Eating good under sale. Thanks, honey. You're welcome. Stay away from my toes. They're so cute. Stop it! <laughs> All right, we have arrived at our anchorage for the night. This little anchorage is called Bottom Harbor. And it is just south of Rose Island, which is just uh, east of Nassau. So we like coming here to avoid the, uh, you know, the drama of anchoring in Nassau. And I, I say drama. I mean, there may, there's, sure, there's plenty of people that are just fine with Nassau, but you know, it is, it's kind of 
the hot spot for crime in uh, the Bahamas. Crime meaning probably mostly theft, I, I guess, but I don't know. Um, and also the, uh, the holding isn't very good inside the harbor in Nassau, uh, between Paradise Island and Nassau. Um, so, you know, we just try to avoid it. So we come here to Rose Island instead. So this is a good little jumping off point for, uh, for the Exumas. This is just a quick little one night stop. And yeah, had a good sail today. Not really much else to, to report, right Molly? No. No? Okay. Tambi, you got anything? No. Got a little sunburnt today. Yeah, sunburnt? Where at? A little bit on my face and my... Yeah. My legs. Mm. Oh, I, I think I can see the, uh, the tan what? line down there on your on your legs. Oh my goodness, Tambi. I mean, I'm, there is a tan line, but there is also now sunburn yeah. on top of that. Put some aloe vera on that, huh? I did. Yeah. Mm. All right. Well, good luck with that. You should know better, Tambi. You're a Bahamas veteran. I know. I should know better. So, what do you think of the Rose Island Anchorage? Mm. It's kind of tight, kind of rolly. What? Are you zoomed in on my armpit? Yeah. How did you sleep? I feel like I felt fine until about five o'clock when it started getting really bumpy. Apparently, <laughs> Apparently um, you didn't sleep very well, huh? All right, so we've left the Bottom Harbor Anchorage at Rose Island. Back that way, we're, I guess, maybe a mile offshore right now, uh, headed to the Exumas, uh, specifically the Allen's Key slash Highborn Key area, somewhere in there. Uh, the, the unfortunate thing is that the wind is basically coming from directly, you know, the, uh, the direction we want to go in. So we're basically uh, motor sailing into it. I do have the, the mainsail all the way up, just catching a little bit of wind, mainly to act as a stabilizer for the boat, just so we don't get rocked so much. It's maybe, I don't know, three to four foot seas out there right now. Um, kind of hoping this will, the, the seas will lay down a little bit. Either that or maybe the wind will go around to, uh, to the south a little bit more so we can sail more effectively, but Anyways, this is what we've got to work with. So we're making the best of it. We're making a slow three and a half to four knots. Tambi is kind of hanging in there, starting to feel a little seasick possibly, but she's taking some medicine. She is not taking some medicine. Shortly we may see her throwing up. Molly is working on her suntan. I'm just kidding, Tammy. You hang in there.
What you doing? Sailing. <laughs> Brushing that pink pony's hair very nicely. Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> okay, and here we are. Anchored just off of the north east shore of Highborn Key. Yep. And this is just going to be our spot for probably just two nights. We just uh, we just kind of need to relax a little bit and, and get our energy back. I mean, we've been on the boat for 24 hours now, and uh, the last two nights we have not slept very much at all. The first night was a no see attack in the middle of the night, and the second night was just extremely rocky. And both full days of travel were just, just that, full days of travel. So we're just gonna relax a little bit. I wanted to show you though, this is the patch that I did on the dinghy. Hopefully you can see that. You can probably make out the, uh, the fiberglass weave right there. You know, I did not sand it down, I just, uh, I, I sanded the boat down and then I epoxied this fiberglass cloth on top, let that dry for a day, and then came back and painted it white. So hopefully that holds up. So just in case you were wondering about that, uh, that little crack in the dinghy, I think it's going to be good to, know, good to go now. Molly? Yes? Say something highly interesting, entertaining, and with a little mix of comedy mixed in there to take us out. Ready? Go. Yep. Today I fixed, well, I fixed a, one of our cushions. Yeah, you sewed it up, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And That's entertaining. What else you got? And I'm glad to be in the Exumas. Okay. That's very good. Now the little slice of comedy. I can't wait to swim. Okay, we're going to have to work on that a little bit. But yeah, I can't wait to swim either. In fact, I see a nice little reefy spot right over your shoulder there we might be able to go check out. Yep. Yeah? Okay. Glad to be here? Yes. Nice job, Molly. You too. Uh, okay, Molly wants to show you the cushion that she repaired today while we were underway. She's speaking of one of these, one of these uh, throwable boat cushions. This one's pretty old and worn out. It had a tear here, but as you can see, Molly sutured that thing right up. Another little spot right there. Did you do that uh, stitch work there too, Molly? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, how confident would you be? I mean, if uh, Daddy gets a you know a pretty bad cut somewhere, of maybe being able to close it up with needle and thread. I'm not that confident. <laughs>
Thanks for watching our video. Be sure to like the video and also subscribe to our channel. To be notified whenever we release a new video, click the bell icon. Also, consider becoming a patron to help us continue making these videos. More details about that can be found in the description. Thanks again for watching and see you next time!